The next thing that you want to be able to do is understand why you would use product hierarchy versus material groups. Each have their own use. Now, when would you use product hierarchy versus when would you use material groups? Take the same retailer. And he sells these electronics. He sells clothing and so on. Now in clothing, just trying to make a picture. So in clothing, say there's designer wear. There's regular clothing and then say sports wear. Now designer is doing a revenue of say 100 million. Regular is doing a revenue of say 50 million and sports is doing a revenue of 50 million. And what's the total revenue in clothing? 100 plus 50 plus 50 that's 200 million now you see that when you put things hierarchically you can do this thing that I've just done called roll up where you roll up revenues roll up costs roll up profit margins any common parameter can be rolled up to its next highest level. That is not possible when you have a flat structure. Material groups are typically flat, right? Meaning, let me take an example here. So if there was no relationship between clothing and then uh, the designer versus regular versus sports, it's going to be something like this. So there are there is clothing and then there is regular and then there is designer wear and then there is sports and all of them are material groups right so it's a flat structure a hierarchical on the other hand is going to be something like this so this is clothing and it has designer sports and regular wear so this is hierarchical and this is where you use this is how product hierarchy is structured no. so before we go into the differences both product hierarchies and material groups are logical way of grouping so both of them are logical way of grouping grouping material masters or materials so what's the difference the relationship between one product and the other can be specified in product hierarchy whereas material groups is flat so uh, whether these the revenues for these products need to be added up together or whether they form some kind of a structure or a relationship is something that you have to explicitly define with material groups but with, whereas with product hierarchy all of that is implicit so it's it's a more intuitive and um, and, and a natural way to group these products together that would result in much better business decisions when you put things in a hierarchy Whereas a material group, on the other hand, is flat. There is no relationship between one material group and the other. And if there is any, you would have to explicitly specify it in your coding or report. Now, nevertheless, both material groups and product hierarchies are used in companies. Material groups are simpler because you don't need to put them in a hierarchy. On the other hand, product groups, product hierarchies are a little complicated but they serve a purpose.